when you have two branches of virtual reality, the PC VR and mobile VR, and uh, they are both they are both have the advantages and disadvantages. PC VR is the highest quality, but it's expensive, and mobile VR is cheap because you can use your phone and put it, and you have only the lenses, but it has not that much capability. So basically, we are making a bridge in between these two worlds. It just whoa. <laughs> I'm quite enjoying it, it's just a bit quiet time, just twiddling my thumbs, literally. When you're young yourself, you imagine your toys coming to life. And now you can, I won't say replace your imagination, but you can kind of see your imagination actually living on the screen. You can see the toy itself starting to move around, see them battle with each other. And I think that's an incredible thing to be feeding kids' imaginations like that. take a blood sample, we use any kind of microscope, and with the iPhone app that we uh, developed, we can tell you if you are sick or not, uh, give uh, all the important details to the uh, doctor to uh, give the right diagnostic and the right treatment to patients. Thank you very much. We created this cube and children's uh, uh, run the alphabet or number or image and creative patterns and they uh, make a more and more creative and brain strength. Yeah. look at Facebook it's great for peeling through somebody's wall but it's a sporadic hit of a bunch of different things it doesn't join up the story so ours is uniquely dedicated to a journal of your travels that you can peel back through time so all these lines that we capture over months and months of me just even living in London becomes an interesting narrative for you to hold on to
it still remains, whatever you want to say about Brexit or anything else, London in the UK is still the biggest hub of startup ecosystems in the whole of, the, of Europe. And that's really not going to change anytime soon. going to be about talent because migration and skilled migration are hugely at the core of startups. You know, the two things that affect startups are money and talent. And talent is really going to be affected by Brexit, how people get visas, how people access the UK, and how people are able to hire into the UK. So Brexit is absolutely the core of this conversation about startups today.